Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Morris Imba, and today I'm going to show you how to fix or lay steel bars on a stripped footing foundation in Tecla structures. In Tecla structures, we have uh, a lot or so many macros that simplifies any particular job you want to do in Tecla structures. And normally, we, we access all those macros on the right side of my screen or of your screen. If you take a look at the bottom end here, you can see I'm mousing over here. This bottom end uh, button will allow you or will lead you to applications and component where you'll be able to get all the tools that will help you perform a particular task very fast. Now, let's kickstart, though I've been away for some time, but I'm back, we'll be producing i'll be producing so many videos tutorial videos on tecla structures and other softwares now let me just close it and bring this close if you take a look here i have my my strip foundation in place so what we are lacking here is just the steel bars inside the concrete so let's now fix that then uh, after this Will uh, I'll take you through on how you can generate drawings and detail the steel bars in Tecla structures. Now let's pick it up. Let me start by let me start by the pad footing first, first or the column basis. Now let me click on that, then come and the starter bars for footing. We'll not pick that. Let's pick. Let's start with pad footing reinforcement. Now, I'll, I'll pick on the pad footing reinforcement. Remember, if you need a command or a macro, just type a pad footing here, just type pad footing here. So any macro that starts with that particular name will pop up and luckily we have all this and we, we will use this and this one in this particular work. Now, I'll pick on the pad footing reinforcement, then uh, the moment you invoke or activate this command, you'll be able to see at the bottom end here you are being asked to pick the object. I'll pick on that, I'll select on it, I'll select on it on the macro once again, then come and pick the object I want to reinforce and pick on that. So give it some time and you'll see the reverse appearing there. Right click and click interrupt to terminate that command. Now I want to rotate this, just come to navigate and pick rotated mouse and pick rotation point, I'll pick on that spot and left hold your mouse and turn it, move your mouse like that. You'll be able to see I have my, my rebars already in place. Now, I'll go to starter bars. I'll pick on starter bars here, select on that, then uh, pick the object I want to reinforce and I want to reinforce this column here. I select on it, right click and terminate that command. So you see this is what you have now. This what we have. We have our our rebars at the bottom end of our column. So what we need is just uh, the stripped. We want to lay the longitudinal bars for our stripped foundation. So what we do, we'll come here and look for a particular tool called CIP. CIP. Then we have CIP main bars and CIP cross bars and CIP steer ups. Now, let's begin with C CIP main bars or the, the longitudinal bars. So I'll pick on it. So the moment I picked on it or activated that command, you'll be able to see I'm being told to pick, pick part for determining the bar range. So what I'm going to do, let me pick this because I'm seeing some ob obstructions here which I may not see a, a, see clearly. So let's use this. Now I'm going to pick this. I'm going to select this concrete component and select on it. So the moment I select on it, you'll be able to see. Pick two points to determine the range. So I'll pick this point. I select that point and come all the way to this point here. Then I'll, I'll, I'll select the component I want to reinforce. I'll select on that, then press my middle button in the mouse, and you'll be able to see we have our longitudinal bars in place. So to rotate, just come to navigate, rotate with mouse, pick your rotation point or pick a point or position 
peak position means your rotation point. I'll select on that point and press hold my left button the mouse and move my mouse. So you'll see that your model your model is moving. So let's first of all double click on these bars, on these three bars, double click so that we see the, the property dialog box for this. So you see we have steel cutting, have first bar length is six meter. So six meter is this bar length. It's actually trim itself according to the length of that particular concrete component. So the full length of steel bar is normally 12 meters in length, or 12, uh, 12 meters long. Now, let's place our cross, uh, our cross sectioning, uh, our cross bars. Now, we'll come to CAP cross bars, select on that, or activate that command, then pick the component you want to place your bars on. I'll select on that component, then come here and select on that corner and terminate it there. So to terminate that polygon polygon uh, instruction position, now I'll press my mild button to terminate it. I'll press my mild button to, to terminate it, then select the component I want to place my crossbars on. I select that comp I'll select that uh, component, then press my middle button on the mouse. So then immediately you press that, you'll be able to see you have your crossbars in place. Let me just zoom out and look where we were. We we're slightly lost, but not that much. We just our, our screen zoomed extremely big. So this is how it looks. We've laid our steel bars here. So we can copy this. So once we've done this, I'll come here and press control and I'll select this bar, press control, then select the longitudinal bars. So I'll right click and come to copy and pick it from that position. So pick a position that it will be accurate if, if, if it, it will help you to copy this component to several parts of similar concrete uh, component. So let me just pick it from this position there and come here and place another one here. So instead of doing the same thing, just copy this thing all the way through. I'll place it right there. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll do the same thing here. I'll come to CIP main bars. So, uh, activate that command, select on the concrete I want to reinforce, I select on that, then define the, the range of my bars. I'll come to that position all the way to this position, then press my mute button, the mouse, or select. Just select the component you want to reinforce first. I select on this component, then press my mute button, the mouse. Remember the process? So let me show you one thing that you might encounter. If you take a look on the screen, you can see that it is an offset of the of the steel bars of the steel component. That one also that one also occur. This one is dependent on on which side you've, you've started defining your polygon. So we started defining our polygon from this end. That's why you've seen that happening. So the steel bar, our steel bars, our our longitudinal steel bars have been have have, have been taken outside. This, the concrete component. Let me just show you if you have you haven't seen it correctly. You can see our 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 steel bars are, are outside the concrete component. So what you're going to do just select on it and delete it. And begin that process afresh. Come here and activate that command, select on it, then select on the concrete, then begin your polygon from that position to that far end. Terminate it there, then uh, select on the concrete component, then press on the button on the mouse, and you'll be able to see uh, the steel bars are now inside the concrete component. Right click and click interrupt to terminate that command. Now let's go to CIP crossbars, activate that command, then pick on the concrete column or, or, or the concrete component you want to reinforce, select on it, then we'll define. The con uh, will find the range of the crossbars. Crossbars will start from this end, as we did from uh, for the previous one, and come all the way and terminate it here. 
select on that spot. So and since we don't, we don't want to go all the way and close a polygon, we want just to, once you, you've defined the range, just terminate that process right there by pressing a build button in the mouse, then go ahead and select select the uh, concrete component and select on that, then press again the build button. And you'll be able to see the, the steel bars already in place. So a reason why I'm doing this, I want to just, uh, we've done on the, on the one on the length and now we are doing this on the width now let me select on these steel bars by pressing ctrl then select on on the longitudinal then i right click and come to copy so then i'll hold this from this position here copy it from that spot and move all the way to this spot here and go all the way to the same position on the, on, on the opposite uh, concrete base or column base. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing here. So since we are not able to see that spot, we'll ignore it and come to it on a different approach. I'll select on that and come here and place another one here and zoom out and do the same thing here. And do the same thing here. Let me just select, let me just do it this faster. So here we are, I'll right click and, and right click and terminate that command. Interrupt now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this also, select on that, press control, and select on this. Right click and come to copy, and I want to copy this maybe from here. This point will match with the other point here. So I'll place this on here and place this on here and move all the way to this location here and move let's do it a little bit faster and place another one here and place another one here that's right and with the same thing here press control and select this longitudinal right click and come to copy and i'll pick it from this position here and take it right here we're almost done and we've let we've left some we've left the longitudinal component let me just mouse over it and select on it let me just select on it or if it's it's a big issue we can just lay it here select on it then uh, we'll define that to this position here then build, uh, press the build button in the mouse and select on it. You've seen now it's there. You don't need to, to waste a lot of time there. Now, we can do the same thing here, but it's almost the same thing. So we'll copy this also. Just select on this component. Make sure you select. Just select on that and hide. You see, everything will hide. So what we're going to do is just to press control I mean, select on this, just mouse over it and select. It's not, it's not accepting, but we will, we'll, we will manage to copy it. Right click and come to copy. And we, we can copy it from that position. To this position here to that position to this position here and move all the way to that end and continue doing this all the way just paste it there or just copy it there move all the way to this position right here right there to all column bases and this one here, and this one here, and this one here, right there. I'm going step by step because our, uh, the audience varies. There are people who are somehow in, in, in intermediate stages. There's some people on advanced stages. So we cannot jump straight to advanced stages. 
we want to cover everyone so don't be worried if i'm you know when i'm doing this the longer way because there's some people who want to learn out of that now let me just right click and terminate that command and come to right click now and redraw to bring our our concrete base here now let me come to the pad footing or where we want to find our uh, starter bars for footing I'll, I'll come here and type pad and uh, these commands will come up I'll pick on starter bars for footing I'll click on it then pick the column I'll select on that column so you'll be, able, you'll be able to see we have our column starter bars in place so what do we do we just do fo uh, follow the same same process select on it then come here and select copy and you can copy it from any uh, position you can place it right here right there so another way you can do or we can simplify this once you've done this just select it and count and once you've done this we want to count or we want to copy it along this line so we'll count we have how many columns we have one two three four and five and remember one we've done so remaining four so I'll select on this, right click and come to special copy and come to linear. So once I've, so I've selected on linear, I'll now populate this along the y axis. Now, what is the distance between this to this component? This is six meters. Now I'll come to y axis and type that distance. Then how many do we want along this side? We want four of these. So I'll go ahead and click copy. And click OK. So you can see we have all these in place. So we can do the same thing here. We have one, two, three, four, and five. And that selects all these. Then come right click and come to special copy and pick linear. And how many are they? We have one, two, three, four, and five. We need five of these along 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 the x-axis. Now we'll copy or, or we'll cut this and paste it here and paste it right there and go ahead and click copy you'll be able to see we have this in place so come to navigate and rotate this and you'll be able to see we have our rebars in place we'll do the same thing here i'll come here and select all these right click and come to special copy and click linear and how many do we want you want one two three I'll come here on the x-axis is it really x-axis make sure you your axis is accurate this will be x-axis but opposite direction so what i'm going to do i'll prefix this dimension with a negative sign with a negative sign and how many do we want we want three of them so i'll come here and type three and click copy so you'll be able to see it it hasn't copied it hasn't copied so Let's do that. Once again, right click and come to special copy and click linear. And uh, once we, we, you prefix this with a, with a negative sign, it's not, it's not actually the X axis, it's actually the Y axis. We'll now cop, cut that and bring back to Y axis and paste it here. So we'll go ahead and click copy and you'll be able to see that copying along that distance. So that's how it's done and that's how it, it should be done. Now you can see we have these in place. So that's how it's done and keep on. Don't forget to subscribe, I mean, and uh, we'll be continue producing more tutorials on Tecla structures and other softwares. Thanks a lot, I'm Maurice Gimba, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel once again. Let's see each other then or on the next tutorial and bye bye. See you then.